that is the level of sophistication here. Like this is like a teenager can execute it. It's like, hey, this is Bill. I can't log in. Help me out here. You know, and, and the hackers don't have to be extremely smart, right? But they call up the help desk. They say, hey, it's Jeff. I forgot my password or I'm locked out. And they say, okay, Jeff, um, what's your manager's name the day that you started? And the hacker's like, oh, damn, I don't know. So they hang up. Then they call up Jeff and they're like, hey, Jeff, this is your IT team. We're just doing a routine audit of your security questions. Can you confirm with me the day that you started in your manager's name? And you're like, sure, here you go. Hang up, call up the help desk, answer the questions, get access to the account. So I was talking to a chief security officer of a large Japanese bank, and he said, I never had to worry about social engineering and scattered spider at my help desk because most hackers speak Chinese, English, Russian. They don't speak Japanese. It's like, but now with, with AI, they speak fluent Japanese and my help desk can't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So all these companies that are in Latin America, certain countries in Asia, Europe, where hackers typically don't speak those languages because it wasn't necessarily profitable. Now it's open season. It's crazy. 